Welcome to the automotive, the first automotive comments we have. I'm very excited about that. My name is Harold and I'm the global lead for automotive uh, industry approach center of expertise with a focus software defined vehicle. And I'm very happy um, to have uh, two colleagues with me, Franz Meyer, who is the vice president, um, uh, global industry vertical lead at, at Red Hat and also Nishal Muchakani who is um, the global lead for the automotive uh, software defined vehicle ecosystem approach. And together, we want uh, to give you a short keynote about what is the Red Hat approach to the industries. And within that industry approach, of course, our partners are very important for us. And we are very happy to have a lot of our uh, great partners uh, in the event with us showing their uh, um, uh, approaches and solutions in combination to the Red Hat technologies here. When we are deep diving a little bit uh, into the automotive approach with a focus of vehicle related topics, software defined vehicle, and then Nishal um, uh, will take over for ecosystem. Let's start with a Red Hat overall um, industry strategy. And with that, I'm very happy to hand over to Franz. Franz, the stage is yours. Thank you, Harold, um, and hello, everybody. Thanks for getting me here. Uh, very happy about that and uh, all these initiatives we are developing. So uh, just a very quick reminder, some people know that, or uh, but you know, what's Red Hat? Uh, I am a veteran of Red Hat. Uh, we say an old timer. I started 21 years ago with Red Hat. So it was a very small company at the time. And uh, we had obviously to evangelize the world that open source is going to change the, the way we're doing software. And uh, today, Red Hat is uh, clearly, you know, a success story that continues to develop. And so we are today uh, Red Hat, uh, a 20,000 uh, employee company. Um, when I started, I think we were about 300, 350, <laughs> just to make you a, 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 a relative to that. Um, uh, we are basically uh, a, a bit more than 4 billion dollar company. And if you look at how many software company in the world uh, that are over, uh, above 4 billion, there are not that many. And uh, which means open source has created success for software adoption. Um, and, uh, and we all know that open source is a way of developing software and it's not a business model. So the success from Red Hat is first of all, to respect um, what's, you know, is about developing open source software and the benefit benefit from it and secondly we had the 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 i would say success of creating a successful business model where customer find a lot of value added and advantages for using open source software you know packaged and provided by red hat with all the services the guarantees you know the certifications uh, that red hat can provide with that open source software code um, developed in the communities. So today, as a result, we have you know 90% of the Fortune 500 companies in the world, the biggest company using, uh, using Red Hat open source. So maybe next slide uh, to go over that. So uh, I, I run business uh, at Red Hat across EMEA in multiple countries, opening many offices, evangelizing for uh, big customers to use open source on Red Hat uh, offerings and services. Um, and I've been running business development for now quite a while, in addition to really sales, which means taking, you know, customer purchase orders and delivering the services they deserve. Uh, within that industry, you know, business development approach, um, I've been asked to develop a strategy with the company that aligns with the entire strategy. And, and with the teams, the different people, we came with a vision statement when it comes to our go-to-market uh, into the, the industry world, the company world. Now, our vision statement is to be the voice of the customer industry, uh, position Red Hat as a trusted technology partner for the digital revolution. Today, um, IT is not just reserved for IT departments. We know that the digital evolution, digital transformation makes the customer line of business, the one that really care about the business problems and opportunity of, the, of their company. Um, they need to take ownership of all those projects because their business needs to digitalize. Uh, we have seen that either because they're getting challenged by new players on the market 
Uh, and, you know, historically, we have seen the Airbnbs, Ubers and others. But uh, uh, COVID has even accelerated that where everybody had to get virtual and run a business. Um, and, uh, and it has to basically be uh, aligned with the development of the business of the customer. Um, and the mission statement that we have uh, within that team for industries is we want to bring within Red Hat, which is a software technology company, very technology product oriented company, developing in an open source collaborative manner. We want to bring the customer industry expertise, you know, and, and within Red Hat and to the customer demonstrating we understand their business and we engage with, you know, also the industry specific ecosystem, the one that provide really the business vertical solutions to the customers where Red Hat is clearly, you know, an infrastructure, an application, I would say, infrastructure uh, supplier, uh, and inspire, you know, relationship, uh, develop the business in order to have a really positive customer and partner impact um, to that with our industry approach. So what, what does that mean? Um, that means that we want to have industry-specific conversations. And we don't want at first to have specific technology conversation. So what kind of uh, uh, industry specific conversations we want, we want to develop and in which vertical, in which industry. So Harold, if you can go next slide, uh, which would be my last is uh, Red Hat doesn't have everywhere, you know, industry experts that have the industry specific knowledge. So over the time we have started to uh, uh, hire and I've been one of the first, you know, within the company to hire people that are not the traditional software, you know, uh, technologists, but that are coming from the industries. And so we started with obviously uh, Telco, um, uh, where even if Telco is technology, it's a very specific technology for operators and the partners, you know, uh, uh, within this world. Uh, we had a very, another one, which is a high consuming vertical, this is the financial service industry. Financial service industry runs their business with IT. And, uh, but the discussions we have there is not about infrastructure. We have plenty of people at Red Hat that can do that with the IT and the architect, but we try to have business conversation. So for example, in Telco, we talked today about open, uh, you know, RAN, radio access network. When we go into, uh, finance we can talk about uh, real-time payments or uh, we can talk about uh, anti-money laundering uh, uh, risk pricing analytics you know uh, or ai ml for fraud management so this is the kind of discussions we want to have and then comes obviously the automotive and the vehicle uh, aspect where we know that within the automotive world and many you know you have all the manufacturing aspects so factory and supply chain and commercial systems, but you have a lot of technology within the vehicle, the cars. And I'm, I say I'm, I don't want to say cars too much because vehicle can be obviously track, buses, you know, motorcycles, but it can be rockets, it can be caterpillars uh, of kind of uh, 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 things. And and we want to have discussions around infotainment, autonomous driving, uh, virtual testing. Uh, of system connecting vehicles and stuff like that so and we also addressing other verticals like uh, healthcare um, and healthcare you have a lot of things around you know claim payments uh, detection of uh, disease and pathology you know in a much better manner for people which are not in big cities and cannot access to the technology and many other things for improving healthcare which is obviously a very very important topic so basically, we want to approach the customer discussion through these industry-specific discussions. And obviously, those business, you know, specific industry discussions uh, that we will have with the customer, with industry experts, uh, they will be done with specific partner ecosystem within those industries. So if you, you go in the banking industry, you have, you know, a partner's ecosystem like Temenos for core banking modernization uh, or Avaloc. Those people are, are really engaged on their solutions, but they sit after that on, on Red Hat uh, technologies and products and services. 
So you can have a hybrid cloud, Temino's core banking solution for modernizing the, the core banking, retail or commercial banking of a, of a customer. So same thing for cars. We want to come, you know, for a vehicle, we want to come with an innovative platform of the future that um, allows the, the, the vehicle builders and the ecosystem of the, the vehicle builders to be able to afford an innovative platform that will bring standardization, but more rapid engineering, more rapid development, and allow you know a, a more rapid development for autonomous driving, less uh, you know carbon emissions and stuff like that. So that's more or less what we're trying in our strategy uh, is to basically have this conversation, engage the right ecosystem, scale with the ecosystem, and ensure it runs with the right technologies and services. So after that, to go more in details. Uh, I, uh, I transfer, you know, to Harold, and after that to Nichelle. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you, Franz, Thank you. for great interest, industry overview and uh, strategy approach. Let's deep dive now into automotive. As Franz mentioned, we want to support the um, automotive uh, industry and the ecosystem in the digital transformation um, um, of the industry itself. And if you are looking. Uh, to automotive and manufacturing, we have three big themes. We have a classical transformation of IT itself here on the bottom right, but transformation of enterprise IT more to hybrid cloud or public cloud scenarios. We have a, a transformation of uh, processes uh, of uh, the automotive companies, um, typically uh, factory related processes, manufacturing related processes often referred of a digital transformation of the factories with industrial internet or industry 4.0. And then we have the big theme of a digital transformation of a product itself um, in the case of automotive vehicles. And within that, we have four main requirements, a transformation to connected cars, connected vehicles, shared vehicles, autonomous driving vehicles, and also electrified ones. And we have here the big theme now of a so-called software-defined vehicle, which is very similar to other industries. We have there the transformation to in the enterprise IT, so software-defined networks, data centers, uh, software-defined networks within telco. And now um, uh, we are stepping into the digital transformation of the vehicles, the connected products, um, with a term and the theme software-defined vehicle. And um, if we are deep diving, into the, the, um, the vehicle related topics, we see that we already have there some developments ongoing. Um, in the past, we had the traditional vehicle, which was more hardware driven and then uh, disconnected from the environment. Um, it was very functional. Um, um, there were functional improvements of that vehicle um, uh, with additional features. And then today, we are already stepping into the connected vehicle, sometimes referred as a kind of smart car and a vehicle itself, which is enriched by services, uh, which provide additional benefits to the vehicle itself. And if you're looking more into the future, we see where a big trend, which already started to more mobility, um, that the vehicle itself will be part of a, of a journey of a mobility concept where, of course, the vehicle itself uh, is centered, but also other mobility concepts are around and, and the vehicle is integrated into that. Yeah. This can be public transport, it, it can be planes. It's about integrating then the vehicle concept into a kind of journey concept. So additional to the enrichment of uh, um, uh, services of a vehicle itself, we have here an integration to mobility services. And um, also what we are seeing is that the uh, vehicle platforms are changing. Uh, we, we have here on the onboard side, ECU consolidations. We have here trends for hardware and software abstraction and software itself, it's gaining importance. If you are looking more into the future, we see um, that the vehicle with the mobility concepts will be integrated even more into our connected life. 
And I think this is getting more and more interesting because we see more synergies also to other industries like telecommunication, financial services uh, offerings, energy, and also the whole industry. We are looking really forward and also supporting this journey. So if you are if you are um, um, looking to the overall uh, focus areas or uh, use cases of a software defined vehicle, we have a vehicle itself here on the left side. And um, and as we can see, the vehicle itself is not standing more alone for itself. It's connected into a back of the car of itself. Um, it, it can be other partners, it can be the ecosystem, it can be smart city concepts. Um, and it's, 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 it's a kind of vehicle to cloud architecture where we see that the backend system, so fleet management, connectivity to the cars, and also the development of functionality for the cars are getting importance and bringing that not only uh, offline into the car, but also through over the air updates. And also the integration to other partners or other processes within automotive is getting importance. And we support from a Red Hat perspective um, coming from the offboard side, but we announced there last year for an own specific uh, offering for the onboard um, uh, itself, the so-called Red Hat in-vehicle operating system, Linux for the car, uh, which will be um, um, available um, is, is under uh, um, development and will aim for function safety certification. And we want to support there with our Red Hat technologies, um, providing there a seamless experience. You have already in the offboard area, Linux containers, DevOps technologies and microservices technologies in the offboard in a uh, cloud agnostic way. And that is a true benefit from the Red Hat technologies. And we are extending that to the onboard, providing the same experience and possibilities to bring software into the car, but also outside the car. And how we are doing that will Nishal share with our ecosystem approach and standardization approach. Please, Nishal. Thank you, Harald. Welcome, everybody. Myself, Nishal, responsible for ecosystem development. As an open source company, ecosystem and community development has been the cornerstone of Red Hat way of working. Red Hat through its open source approach have proven how solving problems has continued to spread beyond the techn technological world to help tackle some of the society's challenging issues uh, in various verticals, be it finance, healthcare, telco. As a result, we have seen more and more organizations across verticals are now contributing, distributing, using open source within their enterprise and product portfolio. We are now extending the same philosophy to strengthen the open source community for automotive. For example, a vibrant Linux ecosystem, automakers may be able to go to faster market and unlock new business models, shortening the time for revenue. By adopting the open source practices, we can help spark innovation, give automakers greater ability to improve technologies together. Next is the ecosystem engagement. There are a couple of key aspects uh, for a successful ecosystem engagement that, so that it's a win for win for everybody involved. Joint value creation, collaboration with the ecosystem to expand the market reach for all the parties involved and enable scalability for the partner ecosystem. The element of joint value creation with ecosystem enables community to better solve industry problems, establish relevancy of products in customer situations, and we work with software vendors, hardware vendors, cloud providers, startups, system integrators, both regional and global. We work with that ecosystem that provide industry solutions in a holistic way, stitching together technologies, expertise, services, and sometimes packaged together as actual solutions. Coming to the reach of community engagement, every partner in ecosystem has its own strength and unique offering. No one company can claim it can do it all. Community provides the reach to address this kind of a requirement. And third one is simply the scale. Open source is developed in a decentralized and collaborative way, relying on peer review and community production. I, 
open collaboration for open innovation. I think that's the key term for the uh, community engagement. In summary, the objective of Red Hat ecosystem play is to bring together industry leading partners, trusted open source communities, to bring diverse, innovative, validated integration solutions for the automotive industry. Over the last 18 months, uh, the Red Hat has joined various uh, initiatives and consortiums, specifically with the focus with the impression on the software defined vehicle. We have highlighted most of these initiatives. Uh, for example, CentOS uh, Stream Automotive SIG, as we was mentioning, is a new product that we are bringing into the market. Uh, we announced it last year, uh, intend to deliver a functional, safe, certified Linux operating system for in-vehicle applications. Red Hat continues its commitment to work transparently as well as upstream first by forming an automotive special SIG within CentOS. We encourage all the participants to join there. Uh, uh, there's a great initiative by Eclipse Foundation for Software Defined Vehicle. We'll hear them next, next in the forum. Uh, we have also joined the SOFI Scalable Open Architecture for Embedded Edge with ARM. This is a great initiative as we share the similar vision of standardization of the infrastructure layer, could accelerate innovation and broadly benefit the automotive community. ELIZA, enabling Linux in safety application, is a vital part of the Linux universe now. Whoever cares deeply for functional safety can address the challenges of certification and create solutions to resolve those challenges. And Red Hat has been part of this. ISO 26262, I think uh, there has to be a fundamentally new way how we look at managing the certification. So we are part of the ISO pass initiative and various initiatives across the industry beat A AGL, Linaro, eSync. We get to hear most of the partners uh, in the coming uh, talk. Next screen, Diane. So today we have a great uh, cross section of our partners joining the talk. We uh, welcome everybody to enjoy the, the talk and we have great speakers from Bosch, Eclipse, Sophie, uh, eSync, IBM, NTT. And uh, we hand it over to the next uh, uh, participants from the Eclipse Foundation.